All right, so here I have my uh, specialized uh, chisel. So I finally took it on a ride. Uh, so I'm gonna just give you my little first ride impressions. Uh, you know what I, what I think about it. So uh, the first thing that I noticed was basically how light it is. Uh, everything just feel light. It's like riding on the flats, riding climbing, hitting bumps and things like that. Uh, it just feels real light. You know, like for example, when you're hitting bumps on a heavier bike, when you hit a bump, it tends to just kind of track and stay. It doesn't bounce around so much because it's a little bit heavier. Um, and this bike, because it's light, it's it kind of buckles a little bit. Uh, you know, it's like it kind of bounces off a little bit more easier, right? But uh, yeah, it, it climbs surprisingly well. Uh, even the traction, I was surprised at 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 uh, because you know, ultimately this bike is a single pivot, right? It's a single pivot right there with a flex uh, seat stay, right? Um, so the seat, you know, the seat stay flexes a little bit. But ultimately, it's it's still a single pivot bike, and you know, single pivot bikes aren't the greatest. You know, the, the suspension design is it's not that great. They, you know, they have their downsides and such. Uh, but this bike rode surprisingly well for a single pivot. Um, climbing wise, it felt surprisingly good. You know, it doesn't feel as good as or actual full. You know, uh, uh, like a like a horse link, or s something like that. You know, uh, you know, horse link still, I think, still climbs better. Uh, it still feels like it has more traction. Um, even when I was, like, for example, going uphill, there's little bumps, like little stutter bumps. You know, like washboard bumps. As I was climbing and you know staying seated, I'm climbing. Usually, like on a horse, horse link, it will absorb those stutter bumps pretty easy you, you, you notice it there but you know you notice that the horse the the, uh, the stutter bumps the washboard bumps but it doesn't make the uh the bike go up and down too much whereas with the single pivot um it does you you feel, you feel that like that that up and down motion sort of you know that rocking motion almost uh and and these you know these stutter bumps are i'm talking about like very small you know, it's not it's not like some big old washboards that are like deep. I'm talking about like something that's like oh maybe like an inch or two at the most, uh, and uh, and not just like short stutter bumps. Like you know the 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 uh, from the one peak to the next peak of that stutter bump is uh, instead of being like oh I don't know six inches or something that it's it might be uh, maybe slightly more than that, maybe like a foot apart uh, going through that. I can feel this thing kind of, the the the, the bike kind of. Uh, just, I can just feel that back end just kind of like you know, you know, it feels kind of, kind of like a boat almost. Um, that motion, whereas with a horse link, uh, you don't really feel that. You you notice the stunt bump there, but it it doesn't feel that rocking motion much. Um, I don't think that's the lack of travel either, because this is you know, hundred and ten millimeters, so that's it's more than enough travel to cover the. Uh, the bumps and I was thinking about oh maybe it was my my the damping uh the rebound or something but it's it wasn't no I had I had the rebound set on um I had the rebound set on uh set so that way the the tires would stay grounded and give me the maximum traction and that's how that's that's how I like my bikes uh, my suspension setup it's so that way the the, the tires would stay grounded and maintain traction as best as possible and so basically I, I you know some people like it poppy and playful I, I do like playful but I don't really like poppy because poppy is you know I find it, find it to be uh, uncomfortable because it just pops back too, too fast for me so so I have it uh, set up to the way it's not too too to the way it's not poppy so so this one is not like that at all um, <laughs> Downhill, surprisingly, it does really well for what it is. Um, the suspension 
it's uh it's enough for uh for most things you know just most common stuff uh, that you see um you know when you're going downhill especially more technical downhills it's not the suspension amount of travel or even the design of this the single pivot suspension that's the limiting factor i don't think i think the the bigger limiting factor for this going downhill is the geo you know i think on this on the low the low uh the low setting on the uh, on the uh, flip chip in here is uh 60, 60, 66 and a half i believe and this the high setting is 67 um so i think it's the geo that that's the limiting factor as far as coming downhill to make it a little bit more stable if it was a little bit more slacker but also you know the, the wheelbase is kind of short or shorter too because you know again cross country bike uh, but because of that steeper head angle for as a continuous back and the shorter wheelbase, it went around switchbacks really easily, you know, pretty effortlessly. I didn't have to really think about it so much. Um, compared to say, uh, say for example, my trail bike, uh, with it being slacker and longer, go around, going around tight switchbacks, it's you could, you know, it's it's kind of tough sometimes, uh, especially when you're like tired or. Or, or the switchback is a little bit uh, loose or a little kind of technical. Then you have to leave a little bit more effort into it, going around the switchback with, with a, a, a slacker, a longer bike. But with this bike, it just went around the switchback pretty effortlessly. effortlessly. So, um, so in that regards, I was like, yeah, it, was, it, it felt fine. Um, uh, this bike makes, you know, I, I basically, you know, got this bike for for climbing trails and trails that are easier, you know, like blue trails, basically. Um, for blue trails, it feels, I think it's it's kind of perfect for, for blue trails. Because, um, you know, with blue trails, they're easy enough that you don't need, a, you don't need anything bigger. It, that, that just bogs you down, it just slows you down because it's big and heavy. And this is more than enough suspension. Um, and geometry is, I think, perfect for blue trails. This bike on on blue trails. This bike feels, you know, it's definitely it's, it. Let's make, make it make the blue trail feel harder, you know, uh, like like more challenging, more thrilling compared to my trail bike. Um, on my trail bike, you know, the, the ride that I just did, like I only did one ride on this bike on on my trail bike. That same ride, it felt really easy. Like it, it didn't feel challenging at all. It's like it felt just it felt really easy. With this bike, most of it felt fine, you know, but the the spot that was a little bit more technical, that it became a little bit uh, more thrilling. Uh, you had to hang on a little bit more, you know, had to focus a little bit more. So, so this bike on blue trails makes my trail bike the way that it feels. This bike on blue trail makes makes my uh, it feels like my trail bike on a black trail. So. It has the same same feel where you know on my trail bike when I'm on black trail black trails, then it becomes more thrilling and more you know a little more fun more exciting, but my my trail bike on a blue trail, it doesn't feel very exciting. But this bike on a blue trail it feels exciting, so so I like that. So you know because you know realistically, um, you know, most trails are are or not at least around here anyways are not that difficult. Um, Maybe if you're if you have that skill, then then you might want a trail bike. But uh, but you're a little bit more skilled. This bike will handle any of the trails around here just fine. Even going down black trails, um, uh, it was able to do it. But boy, it was like uh, you have to be mindful though. You know, with that, with that, again, I think it's mainly the head tube angle. Uh, but also, you know. The stack height on this thing is a little bit lower, so that so the uh, I mean I could I could bring the I could bring the stem up because I have two spaces here, so I could bring the stem up, but I don't want to. I want to leave it like that so that way it's easier to climb. So so now the way that is the you know the the saddle height is higher than the 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 uh, the grip height, so that you know that that makes it easier to climb. But at the same time that pitches you forward. 
So when I was going down steeper, more technical trails, no, that made it more 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 scary, more uh, uh, more exciting. And this is a one sixty millimeter uh, dropper post, and going down those trails, I pretty much had this thing slammed down. And even then, I felt like that wasn't enough. I felt like, oh man, I could have slammed it down even more, and maybe I should have gotten a one eighty, because I think if I remember right, when I when I, when I when I calculated the uh, the height for this and the the insert and stuff like that. I could have fit a, uh, I could have fit a one up, one eighty for sure. I'm not sure if I could fit a. This is a wolf tooth, wolf tooth uh, strap of poster. I wasn't sure if I was able to fit a, uh, fit a, um, a one eighty wolf tooth or not. But anyways, uh, but one sixty on this bike, it felt like it wasn't enough. Whereas on my trail bike. Going down the same trail with art, with tactical and stuff, and my truck bike also has a one sixty dropper post, and I don't need to drop it all the way down. I only drop it about halfway down, and I feel fine. It felt like it feels, you know, on my truck bike, it feels like more than enough. Uh, but with this bike, when the slam all the way down, I still felt like, felt like that it wasn't enough, and I think that has to do with uh, again the stack height, and also uh, the geo mainly the head tube angle in the front um, so yeah so it's a fun little bike it climbs uh, pretty well it has a uh, pretty good traction you know going up uh, these tires well, I'll do a different review on the tires uh, but uh, but yeah but the suspension wise climbing traction uh, was surprisingly good uh, and uh, and downhill it was surprisingly good too. It's just you know, the main limitation I think again is is that the geo in the front, the head tube. Uh, you know, it's a class, again it's a cross country bike, so you know it is what it is. Um, let's see. Yeah, again, the biggest thing that I noticed was just how light it was. You know, and it's not just the wheels. You know. Because I I have the same wheel, I use the same wheels on 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 my other bike before, but you know, different tires though different tires these are you know these tires are surprisingly light, uh, quite a bit lighter actually, than other tires that probably like uh, at least a quarter pound lighter per tire if not almost half a pound lighter, I think the other tires I've used was probably or the light the lightest other tires I've used for for these wheels were probably like. Uh, 850 or something like that. I think these tires are about 600 if I can remember right. I can't remember now. Is it 600 or 700? It might be 700. But anyways, it's at least a quarter pounds lighter than than the lightest tires I've I've had on these these, these wheels. Uh, but it's not just that rotational mass that I was feeling. It was just the 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 whole bike overall. Uh, it just made it you know the, the lighter made it. Uh, more playful basically it's like uh you know it's like the difference between uh an e-bike and a non-e-bike right just that difference extra weight in an e-bike makes it a little bit heavier and it also it makes things a little bit you know harder to do you know being less playful because because of the extra weight so that's what i noticed with this bike because it's it's lighter it's uh it made it more uh because of that it made it more playful so that was cool i like that um Let's see. Yeah, so I think that's it for now. Uh, Fit-wise, it fit really well. Fit me really well. Um, you know, I'm, this is a medium, right? Medium. Medium. I'm uh, I'm five six, five seven on a good day. Uh, about 140 pounds, but naked. I have a 30 inch inseam. Uh, I'm using a 165. Uh, Crank length. I'm using a uh, 32 uh, stem length. This is the shortest. I think 32 is the shortest you could get uh, for 35 uh, clamp diameter. Um, or just about as short as you can can get. It. Um, and it felt really well. Uh, one advantage. With going with a shorter, because usually a country bike, your stem length is a little bit longer. 
and I've seen them. I think I think if you look at specialized websites. A lot of their 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 stem length for for the spike, a full 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 bike. I think they're using like a fifty or a sixty millimeters or something like that. You know, definitely longer than this. And with this bike, again, it has to do with the geo. Even with the shortest stem length and also the shortest uh, and the uh, lower stack height, I was riding. You know, when I was going downhill, steeper downhill, I felt like I was almost being pitched over the handlebars. So, so that that part made it made it a little bit more sketchy compared to my my trail bikes. My trail bikes, uh, I I never felt I never felt uh, pitched over, even on like a black trail. Maybe a double double diamond, double black. I might feel like that on the on the trail bike. On a black trail, I'm able to ride, uh, and, I don't, and I don't feel like I'm pitched over. Uh, but this bike on a black trail, it definitely feels like I'm pitched over. On a blue trail, it doesn't. So again, you know, this I don't think this bike is really intended for black trails. Blue trails, maybe like uh, harder blue trails, maybe. But black trails, it's kind of you know, it's kind of hairy. It's kind of uh, feels kind of sketch. So so I don't really recommend it. Maybe maybe we would. Bigger tires, you know, Navier tires. Um, but with these tires, uh, I would say no, no on that. So, uh, so this uh, the suspension wise is like you know how much suspension you have. Uh, it feels, it felt fine to me. Let's look at how much I have left on the rear. So it looks like you know I still have like another millimeter or two on the rear before it bottoms out. In the front, I probably have a few a few millimeters, you know, before that bottoms out as well. Uh, it felt as I was going to the uh, to the, the the black diamond black trails, and you know, black the black trails have drops, uh, and I, and and depending on where on the trail you were, if you're right like dead center of the trail, the drop is like taller, and on towards the side of the trail, the drop is a little bit lower. I didn't go to the middle, uh, you know. I didn't go to like the two foot plus drops. The biggest drop I went down was probably like a, probably like a foot, maybe a little bit more. Well, a foot. the drop was probably a foot in height, but if you also add the, the downward landing, it'll be more than a foot. But the drop itself, if you if you, if you took a me tape measure from the top of the drop to the to the bottom of the drop, where the drop is, and you know, that distance is probably about a foot. The most of that that I went over. Uh, but you included the downhill landing is probably like at least two feet or, or more. But um, but that's about it though. Uh, any 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 of the bigger drops out, you know, this bike just felt a little bit kind of uh, you know kind of sketchy for that for anything bigger than that. Uh, or you know, I, also my skill level is not that you know I'm not a very skilled rider. So um, so you know, part of that is is rider skill too, right? So. So I'm just a you know I'm just a weekend I'm just an average weekend warrior, so nothing special about me, you know I can't even do a wheelie so so that's that tells you where my skill set is you know I, I don't even know how to do a wheelie, um, or not I shouldn't say I don't know how to do the wheelie, but I'm not I'm not able to do a wheelie, it should be more like it, uh, so that tells you my skill set so I'm not very good. Um, but uh, yeah, but anyways, this bike, uh, you know, overall, it's great for blue trails. If you do like black trails, on black trails, this bike's not forgiving. That's that's what I should say. This bike's not forgiving. You, you can't be making mistakes on a black trail with this bike. If you do, you're probably gonna eat it. You know, on my trail bike, I can make mistakes, and I'm still somewhat okay. On my enduro bike, man, I can make like lots of mistakes on a black trail. And I'm, I'm and I feel perfectly comfortable, perfectly confident. On my on my uh, trail bike, when I make a mistake, I don't feel. I don't completely feel. Uh, uh, perfectly comfortable, but it makes it through, and it's very forgiving. But this bike, man, if I if I make a mistake on a, a, a back trail, I will probably eat it. So you know, again, you know this thing is purpose built, right? Uh, purpose designed and made built for um to for cross country you know and cross country for the most part is our blue trails you know i know in cross country racing especially nowadays the 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 the, the cross country tracks nowadays are a little bit more technical a little bit more diff, more difficult that's why you know all the cross country bikes now have a little bit more travel right a little bit more travel a little bit slacker right 
and this is a modern you know this is a modern cross country bike so so it could handle you know modern day cross country so modern day cross country has it's mostly blue trails and it has some black sections here and there thrown in right and and i, I think this bike is fine for that but again when you're in the black section especially going downhill black section you have to be more uh more focused and uh and it's just a less forgiving bike because of it's the geo and the uh and you know geo stack height and uh, and a little bit less travel um yeah uh so that's that's my thoughts for the first you know my first ride i'm gonna ride it some more and see how i feel um about it uh, as is right now, I think I need to raise the seat height a little bit higher. Actually, I think I need to raise the seat height to uh, maybe like a quarter inch or so because uh, I felt my seat height was a little bit low. My my knees were a little bit too bent when I was you know when I was riding. Uh, so I, I need I need to do that for now. I'm considering I'm considering raising the the the, the uh, stem up and make, moving these spaces down. Uh, but I'm not sure yet. I'm gonna leave it at this for now. I'm gonna raise the seat height first and ride it around. Uh, then, then I will decide on this one. If, if it feels too sketchy, uh, then, then yeah, then I, I will probably, on the front end, especially if it feels too sketchy, like I'm pitch, pitching forward too much, then I, I'll probably uh, bring this spacers on the bottom and, and raise this up a little bit. <coughs> um, but as for now, I'm gonna leave that there. The other thing I'm waiting for and I want to change is I actually want to change the front tire for sure. The rear tire is all right, but the front tire, um, I think it needs a little bit more. And I'll talk about tires in a separate video.